Okay, so now let's check out part two. Now we have to fill out your expected budget. This is just an educated guess on your income and expenses as a young adult. Again, if you forgot the vocabulary words, what does income mean? What does expense mean? Just click on the links and it will bring you back to the slides so that you can understand what this sentence means. So we're gonna open up your student monthly budget. Remember, if you don't already have that open, you can always go back to our Google Classroom, click on the Classwork tab, and then you'll see here's like the actual project that we as the student are editing, fixing, and uh, turning in. So click on that, we're gonna open it up. We've typed in our budget, or our income, our expected income. Now we're gonna do expected means what do you think? Now through doing this already, I'm learning, we don't really know. If you're not paying bills in your household, how do you know how much things cost? Some people do, so some people will know. But don't worry, this is just a guess. Later on, I'm gonna teach you the actual amount. But for now, this is just a guess. And something I want you to think about is, well, I'm making $1,800 and minimum wage is $10 an hour. So they think most people should be able to survive on this amount of money. Now, is that true? No. If you're making minimum wage, it's really hard to make ends meet, to survive, to pay for everything that you need to. Um, that's like a discussion for another day. But you really shouldn't be spending a ton more than this, okay? So make a guess. How much do you think it will cost to rent? This is a month, right? To live somewhere for a month, to live in an apartment or a house. How much will that cost? Type that in here. We're just working on this column B. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go through each one. If you already understand what you're doing, go ahead and stop this video and complete this column, only the white space. Do not write in the red, blue, green, yellow. Do not write in the colored spaces. There's formulas in there. If you type in them, it's going to mess it up. So do not, I repeat, do not type in the colored spaces only type in the white spaces. That's all for part two. If you're still with me because you don't know what some of these words are, that's fine, I'm gonna tell you right now. So this is how much it costs to live in the place that you're living every month. Electric, how much money do you think it costs to spend on um, turning lights on, charging things, having things plugged in? This is electric electricity. How much does that cost a month? Gas, that's how your home is heated and how your home is cool. Now in Minnesota, many people are fine without air conditioning. If you have a window unit, it's part of your electricity bill. But we cannot survive without heat. So how much do you think it will cost every month to heat up the house you're living in? Water and sewer. Type in the amount of money you think it costs to have water for washing dishes, doing laundry, drinking water, cooking, cleaning. Trash and recycling. It costs money for the city to have someone come up, come and pick up your trash and your recycling, okay? Internet. Internet is a need nowadays. We know that through distance learning. People work through the computers. How are you supposed to communicate? How are you supposed to pay your bills without the internet? So all these things I just listed, one, two, three, four, five, six, those are all needs and you have to type in a number, an amount, a dollar amount, so it costs money. Here we go, a dollar amount, how much you think one adult, a single adult spends on these things in a month. TV, that could be optional. A lot of people are like, I can't live without TV. How much money do you think that costs? Okay, moving on to the next section. Here are some wants and some needs. Groceries to feed yourself. How much do you think you will spend a month to feed one person, 
over a month. Type in that dollar amount. Dining out. If you're not going to go out to eat a lot, put a zero. But maybe you go and you get fast food or you go out to a nice fancy restaurant once in a while. This is more of a want, but that's okay. If you want to spend money on it, it's your money. We go out to eat or we get takeout once a week. So put in that dollar amount there. Gasoline. If you're taking the bus, put in zero. But if you're driving, how much money do you think you'll spend on gas every month? Cell phone. This is a need nowadays. How much money a month do you think it costs to have a cell phone that has service? Clothing, beauty, household. You might not be buying new clothes every month, but you know that over a lifetime you are buying new clothes. So how much money do you think every month? Beauty. That could be, that's not just makeup. It could be deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, vitamins, um, soap, a razor, all those things. Household, blankets, pillows, furniture, decorations, flowers, okay? Now, again, you're not buying that new every month, but how much if you were to average it out over a year do you think money goes to that a month? Entertainment, not much now, but we're planning for the future. So when COVID's gone, how much money are you spending on going bowling, going to Bolero, playing video games at Dave and Buster's, um, joining a sports league, going to the casino. What else do people do? Oh, going to concerts or movies, okay? Skip this today. We are skipping insurance. I'm gonna teach you about insurance in a few weeks. Today, we're just gonna put zero. That doesn't mean it's not important. We're going to talk about the value of insurance later because you could end up saving. You will end up. If you have insurance, you'll end up saving a lot of money. Car transportation. How much does it cost every month to own a car? How much does it cost every month to lease a car? Or you could be taking a bus. How much money every month does your bus card cost? Savings. This isn't money you spend. This is money you set aside to use in the future. Do you want to travel one day? Then how much money are you going to put in the account or the piggy bank to use later, little by little, so it grows? Do you want to retire one day so that when you're 65, you don't have to work anymore? Do you want to go to college? How much money does that? do you want to save for that? So all of these are optional. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you're saving in case there's an emergency. They always say you should have emergency savings in case you get fired or someone gets really sick. You could put something else here. Maybe you're saving for a car. Maybe you're saving to have children one day. This is optional. So type in the amount that you want to set aside. This isn't how much money you're spending on the house. This is how much you're saving. Okay. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. So then at the bottom, you're going to see here's the income and then it's going to take away savings and expenses. If it's green there, it means you have extra money. If it's white and zero, that means you broke even that you spent equal money to the amount of money you earned. And if it's red, it means that you've gone into debt, okay? There's no penalty if this is red. There's no extra points if this is green. I just want you to see how money works and where it's going and what it takes to end up at zero or to end up in red every month. Okay, so by the end of this video, you should have all of B completed.